What's happening guys, Dan Devenham here and today we're taking a look at the vlogger's friend, the 3K Joby Gorillapod. Welcome back guys and yesterday we are talking about the Gorillapod, the Joby Gorillapod it be, to be precise. Uh, this is the brand name version of this kind of bendy sort of tripod. It's a tripod that you will have seen out on the street with vloggers and videographers etc etc. All in this sort of configuration where it's bent away from the person and they're holding a camera and chit chatting away. Um, it is because it is so useful, it is fairly light and it is very, very stable on a multitude of surfaces. This particular model, the 3K model, there is a 5K, a 1K and then several other very smaller ones right down to ones that hold your mobile phone. Um, this one is the 3K model, this holds 3 kilograms of weight, so it's for a fairly sizable DSLR camera slash video camera. Um, and it has, this is, this is the black and charcoal with red accent version. It comes with a top pod, a, a, a ball head pod at the top, which has a handle on the side, basically allowing you to move your ball head about up and down, so you can have it flat if you wanted to as well, um, and also left and right. Um, whilst this is loose and is basically available, able to move, if we just tighten it up slightly, the head can actually move on its own axis as well. So it's not just tied to using the ball head. You can move it round on a, a, a swizzle axis. Um, it has a quick release plate at the top. So you press a button on it and then pull it off. And then this quick release plate comes off, which has a level on the side, well, on the back of it. Um, a thing I've absolutely never used. Um, I, I, I have to say, I wouldn't say that this is particularly accurate. This is definitely not a sort of carpenter le grade level, um, so you're not going to get, you're going to get a moderately accurate look at whether it's level or not, but if level is absolutely your thing, this probably wouldn't give you a precise measurement as whether it's level or not. Um, anyway, uh, it clicks back in pretty quick um, and you can actually take this off the tripod, you can take the ball head off completely and use it on another system. I have in fact used this on a slider when I didn't have a head for my slider. Um, I just have this and I just thought oh, I'll use it. It comes with, uh, internally, it comes with a little uh, screw inside which you can unscrew and that basically makes the hole wider or thinner depending on what you want to actually do with it. Um, in my case, we need it for the Joby pod itself. So I'll just put that back in. You just screw straight back in there, and then this screw straight back in there. And you're done, basically. Absolutely amazing. There are so many things that can actually be done with this as well, which is, it's, it is a pretty cool piece of kit. Um, it isn't just a tripod, so you can't, you, you know, you, you can actually use it to just use it as a tripod. You can be used on unstable surfaces, so if you've got a surface that's got a step, or you're doing things on stairs or whatever, you can use it that way. There are hacks that you can use to make this uh, a little bit more usable as a stabilizer. So for instance, if we just pull the legs out to the side like so, flip it upside down, and then we've got the camera slung underneath it, and hold it here, you've got yourself a sort of rudimentary manual stabilizer, which means you can do a nice sort of dolly shot with it, um, and it, it will keep it fairly stable. One other option you've got is you can pull the back leg out, so we've got the camera facing forward towards you at this stage. Um, bend these legs in slightly, like so, so you've got two handles, and then push that into your chest like that, uh, just into your shoulder blade here, um, and then you've got the camera here, the screen here, and then if you're walking along, you've got a sort of shoulder rig. It's kind of like a shoulder rig. Um, which just gives that little bit more stable view, uh, a little bit st more stable shots uh, on uh, on, the, on this particular rig than handheld. Um, it is, there are many other things you can do with it. There are loads of other things. Obviously, the famous thing is you can bend it around trees and what have you. And we'll take a look at that now.
So as you can see, yeah, it does. It will bend around trees and it will hold a, a fairly sizable camera to a tree uh, and allow you to um, uh, do what you need to do without being able, actually holding the camera from height or from wherever you need it to be. Because it's got this put this pod on the top, this this ball head on the top. If it was at the side like that, you are able to to um, to, to angle the, the the camera so that it can be that way on and then have it bent round, as you've seen on the video. Um, it is an extremely good piece of kit. Um, I would advise everybody to, uh, to, to get one of these, whether you're a photographer or a videographer or a vlogger or a YouTuber like I am. Um, they're great, even if you just want to use it as a small tripod stick in your backpack um, and just stick out wherever you need to be, on a wall or wherever it is that you need to be. Uh, they are also great for low level shots, so you can get it on the floor um, and then have the camera looking upwards um, so you get like that nice walking towards shot from a low level um, and it, it's, it, it's the very unobtrusive. It's a very very good piece of kit. It is quite expensive. I think this one cost me around about £69, about £70, which is about $100 or so um, and, it, and it's not the cheapest thing on earth. There are versions of this that are out there on, uh, on eBay for about a tenner. Um, uh, and they're, they're fine, there's nothing wrong with them, they do, they do work perfectly fine, um, there's nothing wrong with that at all, it's, um, it's just that with this you do get a little bit better build quality um, and uh, you obviously got the support of the whole Vitec group which this is part of, basically this is part of uh, Vitec as I say, which is Manfrotto, Lopro, O'Connor tripods which are massively expensive. Um, and you've got uh, uh, Joby as well and uh, Vitec itself um, which do tripods and etc 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 so yeah it is a very good piece of kit it does come with guarantees etc very very good not the cheapest but it is, it is an, a, a piece of kit that's very very useful problems yes they do have problems with them um, there are some after, after a, 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 a numeral of an out of use some of these legs can go slack um, and eventually you need to replace it because they end up falling over or whatever. There are plenty of people out there who've got videos on that which show you that their cameras fall over um, with these in, which, which is fair enough. Um, however, mine in particular, I've had this for about five months now, used it virtually every day for five months. And these are actually really stiff, to be honest. Um, these do come off. You can actually get these to pop, up, pop out. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it at the, at the there you go, you can actually pop them out. Um, they are quite stiff to pop out um, and it, it, it only happens normally if I sort of grab it and then sort of really rag it, I'll pop the back one out and it's just pop it back in and it's all done. And that hasn't, a, that hasn't helped, hindered in any way, shape or form the usefulness of these legs. That leg that I've just popped out doesn't feel any slacker or any more uh, um, weaker than any of the other legs or any other joints in this tripod. Um, it's a great piece of kit. I'd advise you go and get one. If you did like this and you thought it was useful and it's, uh, you, you thought it was a good, a good, interesting look, a uh, quick look at the Joby uh, tripod, please do like and subscribe below and uh, hit the bell notification. Get that, get that press because then you get to see when other videos come out and when I'm doing other things. And uh, I will see you guys next time.